everyone, welcome to the first ever online Country of the Week. This week we're starting right here at home in the United Kingdom. I'm going to start this video with some fast facts. Fact number one, the UK is in Europe. Fact number two, the UK is split into four nations, England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Fact number three, the language of the United Kingdom is English, although other languages are spoken. Number four, the flag of the United Kingdom is the Union Jack. It looks a little bit like this. And finally, fact number five, the capital city of the United Kingdom is London, which is in South East England. Okay, let's take a tour of the United Kingdom. We're going to start in the capital city, in London. London is one of the biggest and most famous cities in the whole of Europe, maybe even the world. It's famous for its beautiful buildings, the River Thames which runs right through the middle, a massive underground train system, and a world famous tennis tournament called Wimbledon, amongst other things. Did you know, in 1666, the Great Fire of London ripped through the city and destroyed four-fifths of the buildings in this ginormous city. OK, let's head west to a place called Stonehenge. Stonehenge is a series of big stones, some of them four metres tall, that were arranged in a circle thousands of years ago in the middle of a field in Wiltshire. Even today, no one's quite sure exactly why they were put there. Right, now we're going to head southwest through Devon and Cornwall to a place called St Ives. This is a little town right on the coast. Like many seaside towns in the UK, it used to be a really big place for fishing. Nowadays, it's more popular as a holiday destination because it's got beautiful warm weather and fantastic beaches. Now we are heading north across a bit of sea called the Bristol Channel and into the heart of Wales. Here we find a national park called Snowdonia and Wales' highest mountain, Snowdon. Did you know that 350,000 people climb this mountain every year? What do you think? Would you like to try it? Right, back on the bus. We're going to go north and east again through the hilly landscape of Wales until we arrive at a city called Liverpool. What do you know about Liverpool? I bet you've heard of the football team. Maybe you've heard of a really famous band called the Beatles, who also came from here. On we go on our tour. We're going north through the moors and hills of Yorkshire until we arrive in a place called the Lake District. What could there be in the Lake District? You guessed it. It's a place famous for its lakes. In fact, there are 16 of them, and they're surrounded by loads of cute little villages and lots of beautiful hills to walk in. Did you know Beatrix Potter wrote Peter Rabbit and a lot of her other really famous books based here in the Lake District? OK, if we continue north, we're going to cross the border into Scotland. Scotland's capital, Edinburgh, is famous for a huge comedy and theatre festival that takes place every summer. If you continue north further and in a bit, you'll find this beautiful mountainous landscape. It's called the Highlands. I wonder why that is. Okay, we're heading west across the Irish Sea to the final nation of the United Kingdom and we are arriving in Northern Ireland. The north coast of Northern Ireland is home to one of the coolest places in the United Kingdom, in my opinion, the Giant's Causeway. These incredible columns of rock are said to be the remnants, the remains, of a bridge that was built by a giant to cross the sea from Ireland to Scotland. In reality, I think volcanic activity caused the creation of these amazing rocks, but I like the story anyway. Finally, we're going to end our tour in the Northern Irish capital, Belfast. This is an incredible city, famous for its industrial past. Did you know the ship Titanic 
which sank in 1912, was built here in Belfast. Wow, what an incredible country the United Kingdom is. I'm really proud to come from here. Did I miss anywhere on my tour? Can you think of any other cities that you know about or any other places? Anywhere you'd like to visit that I've mentioned or want to know more about? Right, whilst we think about that, we're going to hand over. Mr Sawyer is going to tell us about one of the most famous people to have ever lived in the United Kingdom. Over to you, Mr Sawyer. William Shakespeare was born in 1564 in Stratford-upon-Avon and went on to become perhaps the greatest known writer in not only the English language, but in any language. Starting his career during the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, he wrote 39 plays that we know of, and 154 sonnets, which is a type of poem with 14 lines and a specific rhyming pattern. He was also the first person that we know of to use certain phrases and words in English, inventing lots of sayings that we still use today, like good riddance, and it's all Greek to me, and all's well that ends well. What's more, people are still adapting his stories today. Did you know that Hamlet is the basis for The Lion King? Well, if all the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players, then it was Shakespeare that put the words in their mouth. Right, finally, we're going to have a look at the UK through the eyes of some incredible artists. Many have been inspired by the landscapes of the UK. Have a look at these pictures. What can you see? What's the same about them? What's different? Do you think any of these could be pictures of places we've talked about on our tour? Which landscapes are rural? Which landscapes are urban? What features can you see? Which ones do you like? Which ones don't you like? Oh my goodness, there's so much more we could say about the UK, but for now that is the end of the first ever online country of the week. What did you learn? Why not go to the Kahoot and have a test of your knowledge? Or if you want to do some more activities based on what you've learned today, head over to my Twitter or Mr Sawyer's Twitter where we will put a list of activities. Hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're staying safe. I hope everyone's fit and healthy. See you soon guys.